Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm at our demonstration garden. We have a new plant here. This is a Euphorbia, Euphorbia rigida. Also called a silver spurge, upright myrtle spurge, gopher spurge. And it comes to us from the Mediterranean, Portugal, Italy, Greece, Turkey, Crimea, Sicily, and Crete. He's described as a erect, spreading, bushy, evergreen, perennial succulent with fleshy leaves and yellow clump flowers. Gets about two feet tall, three feet wide. Let's take a closer look here. But uh, let's we'll take a look at this guy here. So the stems, they're thick, they're upright. Like our other euphorbias, they are toxic. If you break it open, you get that white milky sap It'll burn your fingers and uh, especially your eyes. And the leaves here, they're blue-green. They're about inch and a half long, lance-shaped. And they're alternate up the stem, like in a spiral. They, they start larger at the bottom, and then they get smaller at the top as they spiral around up to our pretty flowers here. And they're fleshy. Oh, look at that, so I got some sap on me right there and they're fleshy and they'll turn a little reddish brown on the ends if it gets too cold. So the flowers here, really pretty, wow. So they bloom from winter and spring and they grow in clusters here at the top of the stems. And each uh, flower here is really a series of flowers. Okay, take a look at this guy here. The outer things here, these are leaves, or not leaves, they're bracts, okay? And inside the flower here, it's called a cyathea. Way in the middle, we'll find a ovary. And the um, male flowers will be around the ovary, so it's many flowers in one here. And you'll see four glands around that structure. These are green. What happens, once the ovary is fertilized, these glands will turn reddish, like we have here. See that? One, two, three, four reddish swelling glands. That means it's been fertilized here. This one here, just in the center, he's been fertilized. And uh, this guy here, all these have been. They're little red glands here. And then those will turn to seed to help uh, spread this plant around. Wow. So to grow us at home, it's a great ornamental for your temperate Mediterranean or coastal garden. You grow it in the ground like we have here, or in a container, likes full sun or light shade, well-drained soil. It's basically trouble-free. Drought tolerant, low maintenance, and you propagate it mostly by divisions or cuttings like our other succulents. Wow, look at this beautiful array of these uh, euphorbias all up and down here. Just that beautiful little reddish color with the green on the little Cyathium, the Cyathea flowers. Wow. Anyway, I thought you liked that plant we have here in our demonstration garden at Cota de Casa. Euphorbia rigida. How about that? Hope you liked the video. Please click like, subscribe, share, all the rest, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.